Hi everyone, my name is Heather Goodall. I am the lead campaign manager in Skodak, New York at the Amazon Fulfillment Center known as ALB1. Today I finished um, my 46 hour work week and I have to tell you, it was pretty brutal. My back is killing me, my feet are killing me. I worked on both the ship dock and the pack department this week. Um, our fulfillment center does receive a lot of very large items, mattresses, lawn mowers, large cornhole sets, um, and we're lifting each and every one of those by hand throughout the day. Um, I would say an average <clears throat> of about 40 items an hour, and if you were to do an average, I'm going to say about 35 pounds, so it is a lot you know, 40 pound boxes of cat litter and waters and our warehouse, uh, many of you know, has been the subject of several OSHA violations. So <clears throat> rather than addressing the OSHA violations, this is the third week that the Fulfillment Center has mandated what they call mandatory extra time. Now there seems to be a pattern of every other week. And this is the third week. Um, so last week there was no mandatory extra time. And what they normally do on the weeks where there is no mandatory extra time, which is 50 hours. So workers are required to work 50 hours, regardless of their physical, mental, or emotional health, regardless if they have a second job, regardless if they have families, regardless if they have childcare issues, it doesn't matter. If you don't come in for that mandatory extra time, which again is 50 hours, then you are subject to immediate termination. <clears throat> you must use your paid time off, PTO, which by the way, in the state of New York, the PTO is 56 hours. However, our fulfillment center only offers 48. Um, and it's accrued much, each one of the time off options is accrued at different rates. You have vacation, the paid time off, and what they call UPT. So if you don't come in on your mandatory extra time, then you're forced to use one of your quote unquote time off options. So this week they mandated the extra time. So <clears throat> what we learned is that in the policy, now there are a couple policies that address the extra time. So some of you saw that we actually had a petition circling throughout the warehouse um, and it was presented, if I'm correct in saying May 13th. We posted a video on YouTube on May 13th that we presented our petition to management. We were requesting simply an extra $3 an hour for the mandatory extra time. Now in the policy, there's two policies. The first one is premium pay for mandatory extra time. And outlined in the policy, it states that on high demand, such as mandatory extra time, workers can receive one, two, or three dollars an hour extra. Now in 2021, <clears throat> the warehouse workers did receive this additional pay, plus a $500 bonus on Prime Day, and what we call double time. So <clears throat> this hasn't been offered. And we did the petition, we presented it to management, and our request was denied. Denied. Not even a dollar. Not even a dollar extra. So they then did increase it the following week. They increased the voluntary extra time to $7 an hour for surge pay. But it was only offered on one day. The following week, mandatory extra time again, nothing extra. So I discovered that now, in addition to the premium pay policy, there's another policy that states that you can offer, or not you, but they, meaning leadership, can offer double time, which is your wages plus double time. So your wages plus times two, we'll say. So the response we got was, nope, you get time and a half. <laughs> now that's the state law. There's nothing extra there. It's the law. They're simply abiding by the law. So now we've requested the double time because it's in the policy. And leadership, 
will be very clear on what we are required to do as per the policy. Only clear beverages, no eating on the floor, scan to scan, 15 minute breaks on a 10 and a half hour shift. So today was announced mandatory extra time with nothing extra. So I'm curious to get feedback from other associates or consumers. What is your thoughts on the fact that leadership is not offering any additional pay for once again, demanding, mandating that workers come in 50 hours at Amazon Fulfillment Center in Skodak, New York. Is leadership, do you think that they should be bound to the policies? Do you think that they should compensate us? I'm curious to know. And one more little piece of information. We also learned the mandatory extra time is mandated because <clears throat> the equipment in our warehouse is not being properly ma maintained. So when we have equipment flare, um, failures, such as the conveyor belt jamming, which happens all the time, I mean all the time, the tape machine is breaking, the slam stations, the pit machines aren't maintained, um, they oftentimes are waiting to be repaired, our scanners are broken, um, I know that we were short um, harnesses and the bins are collapsing in the um, pick aisles. So we're faced with a lot of challenges that are out of our control, but yet we are mandated to come in because we're working with broken equipment and we're not even being compensated.